I became quite more, quite and quite more listening to this speech. Thank you, colleague. I'm coming from a country which belongs to the happy ones. We have not your problem. We are set with you and the colleagues who are confronted to jail and prosecution. I have to tell you a story of happy feelings in the world. My country, Germany, is one of the great advantages of as a result of our history with two dictatorships, Hitler and the communists. Media regulation is not accepted. And it is a common consensus in the country that there is unlimited freedom of the media. That is one of the fundamental principles of our Constitution given by 64 mothers and fathers in the late 40s after World War II. All of them have been prosecuted by the Nazi or the communist dictatorship and they wrote a constitution which is protected especially in the media field with very intensively from our constitutional court. He has in, in interrupted judgment for the last 50 years. said, in the case of doubt, always in favor for press freedom. Mm -hmm. That is inter uninterrupted judgment of the Constitutional Court. We have nine big decisions of the court in very important cases. Always the rule favor to the press. If there is any doubt, favor to the press or the media, not only as was press and also television. But, and I'm a little bit shy to say it after your impressive speech, but in my country we have growing criticism. It is caused by the real or imagined lack of restraint of the media, which disregards <coughs> the honor, the private sphere, the family relations of the victims. That, I'm shy to say it after you <laughs> speak, that's the real problem of our media law long term. And all this because the public is curious and wants to satisfy its almost all-encompassing demand for information. It is not rare that this demand for information turns out to be just the business interest of the publications in question. Newspapers, and magazines, television, and radio in our country has assumed long ago the role of a public pillory. This medieval punishment of public exposure has been considered to be degrading for a long time. Whether gloating or public exposure, the reproaches of a lack of constraint of the media are getting louder, not only in Germany and all the rest of Europe. And this unfolds then the problem of the demands going along with the regulation of the media, which at present are affecting the discussion in Germany, 
but also in other countries, think of Italy, think of Great Britain. Because we created the conditions for the present problem, the jurists are now in an awkward position in this problem. The German legislation could not create a compulsory canon of values. We have no acceptable measures to enforce these values. Our constitution simply does not allow this. So the reason for this are, as I mentioned, historical. So we put the freedom of the media above all means everything. Comparison to their country, we are lucky. In no case that should be noted. In no case does the institutional content of the freedom of the media empower the state to interfere or to change the private economical structure of the press. While jurists, lawyers discuss intensively and with excellent arguments who should enjoy the privilege of media freedom, and to what extent the daily journalistic work does not bother about such theoretical consideration. For the press in our country, in my continent, almost everything seems to be allowed. Limits are found only in the protection of the youth, in the in interdiction of pornography, and violations of personal honor. But these two last facts have lost their importance in the conflict with the mass media during the last 10, 20 years. The tension between the right of the person and of the media is aggravated by the fact that every injury to the private sphere is known to a large circle of persons. The subsequent correction of this insult, however, does not attract as much interest as the initial injury. According to the legislation, the media has to the obligation to verification and truth in the interest of the protection of the individual. This has been limited according to journalistic requirements and narrowed down to a professional and press-related accuracy. Politicians, however, in contrast to private persons, must tolerate critical questions of general interest. Therefore, the protection of the good name of a person has to be weighed against the interest in a free political discussion. If I have a girlfriend. It's only, it's my private sphere, it's only of interest for my wife, my little wife. But if a minister has a girlfriend, then the case is lighter and easier for the press to report on this. That's, so it is very difficult for our politicians to live not regularly. <laughs> These rather reasonable results of a balanced legal discussion legislation to solve the unavoidable tensions between the ambition of the media to report on everything and the understandable claim of the victims to, pro uh, to protect their private sphere does not stand the test of practical journalism work. It doesn't care about the lofty intention of legislators and the fine-tuned arguments of our of us Jews. The story is everything. Sales success more, even more. <coughs> Thus interviews are invented a politician is exposed by television as a homosexual, also he isn't one. 
or a fashion designer is stigmatized because he allegedly is disgusted by invalids. All cases, cases like that. Nothing is true, but everything is popular. The freedom of the media, one may deplore this, protects also the even, even, even the bad. There have been no interdictions and there should be no. The protectors of our constitution, our constitutional judges, as much as they were ready to defend the freedom of the media, haven't neglected appeals and prescriptions concerning the duties of newspapers, magazines, broadcasting, and television. This has been of little help. Even the legal institution of, you mentioned it, even Darstellung, correction of facts by the concerned persons, known since the French Revolution has been of little help. But maybe a look over the fence Let's have a look at our Western neighbors from where, as already mentioned, so many good things came into our country for the freedom of the media after the World War II. <coughs> Especially our Anglo-American colleagues know the institution of damages payments for slanderous publications which, which hurt the rights of the person. For a long time, this experience was foreign to our Prussian-influenced legal system, historically. Honor can't be compensated by money. By money. Honor and honor. That was the certainly very respectable opinion in Germany a long time. But in the meantime, market economy, uh, economy has made some progress, even in our country. It is almost a joke that the favorite object of the yellow press, Princess Caroline of Monaco, has become a person of German legal history. She and her clever lawyer, not me, have caused the highest German civil court to punish wrong reports with the right to correction and payments of damages. Who does not want to feel must pay. And under the influence of the European judges, Since then, you will find a lot of pixels. Is it in English pixels? Mm -hmm. uh, pixels. If you see a young mother feeding her baby, mm -hmm. uh, former times, if you are a minister or a princess, there was no doubt you can take the picture and bring it in the newspaper. And now we are reducing. Tabloids in Germany or somewhere else in Europe, you will see a lot of pixel photos showing always the mother but not the baby or, or some other very private photo. You mentioned the other problem. The power of the press is founded not only on the power of words, also the concentration, the economic concentration of publishing rights involves the danger of one opinion dominating power which is not democratically legitimized and especially brings with it uncontrolled market domination new danger. In Germany and all over Europe, it is less the concentration of economic interest in the hands of foreign capital groups which plays a role that is until today, since the last 10, 15 years, under control of the antitrust organizations in all European 
member states of the EU. More important is the fact that many parts, especially in the German province, only one regional newspaper dominates the market. Being the southern German university city Freiburg mayor and have not a good relation to the local newspaper which is read in every household. That it could be very difficult for a mayor if the newspaper, the local newspaper is in place. So that's, that's really a problem. They are, the newspapers are too influential. But in these cases, the refined system of German anti concentration rules of European anti don't apply because they are too small constituencies or local count, count, counties also. The antitrust regulation is not it's only effective against big publishing houses. Until today, Rupert Murdoch has no possession in Germany. But it's a pleasure to see that here, too, the market, the market acts as a remedy against many elements of this world. To these regional markets, dominating newspapers the competition has appeared in the form of advisement papers or urban, urban district papers that form a kind of alternative public opinion. But here again there is a tendency of the big newspaper to buy the new competition. The great variety of other media is a buffer also against opinion dictatorship. The immense German magazine mark, or that you can see in other European countries too, with its thousands of titles, the great number of radio and TV programs, and the rapidly increasing expansion of other electronic media like this one. are quite confusing for the normal citizen. The electronic media market uses also the privileges of freedom of the press, which should better be called freedom of the media. The foundations which were laid by the Western allies during the years after the war can still be felt. They created 65 more years ago, what I have called in a different context the heritage of Germany's favorite occupation baby. For my times it was a not so well known word because occupation babies were little kids who was born by a German mother, mother who has a little bit love affair with an Allied soldier. Mm -hmm. uh, this they created the allies, West Allies created the public legal broadcasting system in opposition to the propaganda machinery of the dictatorships. This public legal system is not a government program. It was created to guarantee for all society uh, society relevant groups their participation in the electronic opinion market. First in the 50s for the radio, later also for the television. For many years, the obstinate judges of the Constitutional Court, who I gave some good words before, um, have opposed the opening of the market to private companies. But again, modern techniques have triumphed over jurists. Nowadays we have in Germany a flourishing radio and TV market also in private hands, which politicians are trying 
to regulate again, but global development, this media do not respect the frontiers, have brought about recently proposals to remove regulation. My description of the situation in Germany and in Europe generally, in spite of the flourishing market, which it contains little encouragement for those who think that independency and national identity are important principles of a media market. I describing the reality in my country because it would need not be honest otherwise and because the development has not been able to damage the credibility of democracy in Germany. On the contrary, the capacity to recognize undesirable developments, to call exaggerations by their name, to describe wrong developments, helps to find a way out. Long, our, long ago, our politicians, our associations, our artists have learned to handle our media system. The media do not dominate us. We dominate the media. It is a hidden but a wrong goal of the media to educate and use us. As a pity poll proved in Germany, the users are also about them to evaluate their media. So far, nobody knows the answer to the question of how important the influence of the media on the state and its citizens is, or to say other, it otherwise, what the contribution of the media in the creation of a virtual reality is. We don't know the answers. It will not be easy to find them. A living society will try to find the answers. Journalists and editors have tried to exert some self-control on excessive reporting. The German Press Council, and there exist also other institutions in the other European countries. The German Press Council, which was conceived as an exemplary institution, meant in equal parts by publishers and journalists, is not very effective. Although it is a part of the codex of the German press to publish admonitions of the press council, even if their own paper is concerned, this institution <coughs> cannot really be considered representative of a credible self-control. What can be the resume of the state of affairs in the media? I didn't help to regulate everything, but still the media market in Germany is enjoying a continuous boom. Politicians and lawyers are, not, are on the defensive. And they will stay in the status of defense because the rapid technical progress in communication will make it still easier to overcome all attempts to regulate them. So my recommendation to politicians in my country, to politicians, soldiers, judges, and other people who, by the way, have the honor to be served in the public, not with commanders. We have to learn again to live with the freedom of the press. And we are happy about all the best. Thank you. Well, muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much, Professor.